Welcome back to the Story of Liberty. This is your host, John Bona. Pastor Latimer and Ridley are very obnoxious to the bloody Queen Mary who is burning all the heretics. On the 16th of October, 1555, they are burned at Oxford. Another friend, Archbishop Kramer, who loves life, he, in a moment of weakness, he signs a paper condemning the Reformation, the Protestant Reformation. But he realizes he's made a mistake and he repents of the act and is burned. On March 21st, 1556, when the fire rises around him, he holds his right hand in the flames till it is burned to a crisp. He says, this unworthy hand, and then he commits his soul to Christ the Lord for all eternity. The sheriff at Oxford, he makes out a bill to the queen, a queen bill, if you will, to burn Latimer and Ridley, there is a charge, and then, of course, to burn Kramer, the archbishop, there's a charge for the wood and the carriage and the laborers and the chains and staples and a post to attach them to. But see, they're called heretics. And Mary, she has other reasons, too, for burning them, because they had given their honest opinion in the question of her mother's divorce. They said it was wrong and sinful. And King Henry demanded their opinion, and forgiving it for being honest, they are put to death at the stake. For years, for three years, the fires blaze under bloody Queen Mary. We're not sure if Mary has any personal hatred toward these men or women whom she causes to be executed. But these people will simply not deny their faith. They do not believe that the bread is changed into the body of Christ when the priest blesses it. See, they just think for themselves, but that is not to be tolerated. It is heresy, and it needs to be exterminated. Mary kind of thinks of herself as being responsible for the eternal welfare of the people. The Church of Rome demands the rooting out of the heretics, and she must obey or lose her own soul. Thousands are cast into prison, and the poor men and women suffer terrible hardships, lying on the cold stones of the old Marshall Sea prison in London, or in the Barcado prison at Oxford. Families are broken up, orphans beg their bread from door to door, or else starve in the streets. By way of warning, some heretics are burned on the hand, and then they're liberated. Women, innocent women, are compelled to do penance in public, standing all day on their feet with a lighted torch in their hands, exposed to the insults of the rude crowd. No one may take pity on them. They just suffer because they will not deny their faith. It is the protest of these heroic souls in the behalf of liberty. They will suffer every indignity. They will give their bodies to be burned rather than deny their faith. Through these sacrifices, liberty comes to the human race. Does such harshness exterminate heresy? the burning of these innocent people? No, on the contrary, the harder the treatment of the heretics, the more they multiply. Those who witness their, their heroic feats in death begin to think that there must be something in their cause which should command respect. 
The people are weary with the burnings of innocent people. They begin to murmur, and when the priests descend to the pulpit at St. Paul's Cross to preach, the mob hoots them down. Liberty is on its way. The people want liberty, political, economic, and religious liberty. They will never, never, never give up.